Hello everyone. In this video, we will see about the customer relationship management with ERP Next. Now, before going into that, first let's see a brief about what is customer relationship management or what is CRM. Now, CRM is the process of managing interaction with the existing as well as the past and the potential customer. So, by using CRM, we try to improve the existing customer relationship as well as we also try to acquire new customer. Now, how will we do this customer relationship management? So we have a software, that is we use the CRM software for managing relationships with our customer. Now, one such example of CRM software is ERP Next. It has all the CRM essential, that is it has, it includes lead management, and then it also have about the email campaign and all that that is needed. So this was about the brief about the CRM. Now let's see uh, benefits of CRM. Now these are very less benefits I have written. Now obviously there are like hundreds of more benefits of using CRM. Now one of the benefit is that it has a profitability and then it also ensures end-to-end -end customer engagement, thereby improving the relationship with our customer base. And then you can see that all the information is there in the one place, that is all our customer information can be, is there in the one place, that is whenever we, we need the information for some use, then we can use it using CRM software. Now this is the this is I this I got it from the zoho.com so you can see that with CRM you get 300% improvement in the lead conversion rate so this is like enough to convey to you that why CRM is important you know like uh, with CRM we have 27% improvement in the customer retain, retention also so you can see all these numbers and how it is important in CRM now this was about the brief and the benefits and everything about it. Now let's go into the ERP Next and see how we can improve the customer relationship management using ERP Next. So, all right. So first step is to follow up with lead. Now we see that we have a lead over here. When we create a lead, we also get this follow up form over here. So what we can do is we can follow up with the leads in order to in order to maintain the proper relationship all right now next one is the customer grouping so let's let's go to the customer grouping here yeah now customer grouping we can assign you can see that we have this different customer groups over here we have commercial we have government individual and nonprofit so with customer group we can assign the default credit limit so credit limit is a maximum amount of credit that uh, you are willing to offer your customer so you might want to offer a credit limit to a commercial customer and you don't you might not want to give it to go government customer or individual or nonprofit customer so using this customer group you can create a credit limit or you can add a price list for different customer group and apart from that you can also add different payment terms for them so this was about the customer grouping that is the second method and then we have the third method that is we can also check the inactive customer report so right now i don't have any inactive customer report in my system but you can use it after first purchase let's say if a customer is uh, is inactive so what we are trying to do is we are kind of wasting the efforts that we are putting to acquire the customer so using this report we can see which customer aren't buying from you anymore now next we will see is about the loyalty program so we know that all our customers like being rewarded so loyalty program is like rewarding your customer for buying for buying something from you so let's say if a customer has ordered something for hundred dollars so we can create a loyalty program wherein we can like let's say if a customer buys something for hundred dollar then we can give them one loyalty point and for one loyalty point we can give them one dollar so that is what loyalty point is about so this is one loyalty program that I have created now we'll go inside it and see what all different field means so by loyalty program we know that we can allow customer to earn points by send, spending a certain amounts and let them also redeem the points in the future purchase so here this is the while creating a loyalty program you'll have to enter the name and then you can choose the loyalty program that is either you want it to be a single tier program or multi-tiered so multi-tiered can have different levels in it such as we can add gold silver and likewise we can do it 
and then we can also select the start date and then the end date that is within this particular date if a customer spends something they will be a part of this loyalty program and then from here we can select a customer group so like I told you if you want a specific customer group for if you want the loyalty program to apply for a specific customer group then you can add it like we saw this point before so let's say I want this loyalty program for the customer commercial customers and next is the customer territory and okay we have this collection rules over here so I have just added this one tier that is platinum and I have added this collection factor that is if a collection factor actually means how much amount needs to be spent to gain one loyalty point so right now if uh, they spend one ten dollars they get one loyalty point I know this is a lot like but yeah it depends upon the company I'm just using an example all right now next is the minimum amount like if I go into this wait a minute yeah you can see that it is a minimum amount so minimum amount to be spent to qualify into this particular platinum tier so you can also add a minimum amount and and then this is the conversion factor for example for one loyalty point equal to how much of a base currency so you can see that for ten dollar I'm having one as a loyalty point and then you can select a company over here and add the expense account and then also add the cost center so I hope you understood about the loyalty point and then what I'll do is I'll save it now okay now it's saying that we'll have to select since it is a single tier program you can only add one one tier over here but if you want to add more than one tier then you can choose it as a multiple tier program all right now you can go to the customer list and you can add this loyalty program for them like let's say I'll go into this customer now since I have selected that, that as a commercial customer so what I'll do is I'll just change it to all customers since Yeah, all customer groups okay all right let's go back and then we can select the customer for for whom we want to assign the loyalty points to and we have this option over here and from here you can select the loyalty program and now whenever the customer will spend some amount that is whenever they will spend ten dollars they'll be getting one loyalty point so I hope you understood about this loyalty points so this is one of the method by in which you can improve the customer relationship now another one is by providing a constant support uh, or by providing a platform through which they can communicate with you so in ERP next we have issues so with this issues form let's say if I want to create a new issue then you can also create a new issue over here it comes under the portal section so you can add a subject about if you're having any issue with the, maybe with the order or maybe with the service then you can anytime you can write it on the subject and then you can send the description and you can also attach the image if you have any problem with the order and all that so this is how you can do improve the customer relationship management in using ERP next now I hope you understood all the all these points and thank you so much for watching